until that gallbladder is dead and necrotic and yeah. creating problems, don't remove it. This might be the worst medical advice I've ever heard in my life. So this fellow says that you should hold on to your gallbladder until it becomes completely gangrenous. That's great. You've taken a procedure, called a cystectomy, that has less than a 3% mortality and bringing it up to up to 50% mortality. Not a good idea. Your gallbladder is an organ that holds bile, bile that's created in the liver. During a meal, your gallbladder is instructed to contract, releasing that bile to your duodenum, where it aids in digestion, particularly fatty digestion. Some people develop cholelithiasis, which is the development of gallstones. When you have cholelithiasis, you might not have symptoms, but most do. They'll get what they call a gallbladder attack, especially after a fatty meal. They'll start out with pain in the right upper quadrant. It might go to their side, even out the back, just at the bottom of their ribs. It could last a few hours. Once your doctor identifies gallstones, they're going to recommend a cholecystectomy. Now, an elective cholecystectomy, you will end up most likely with a laparoscopic procedure with a few puncture marks in the abdomen, and if you're lucky, you might even go home that day. If you wait until the point where your gallbladder becomes necrotic and gangrenous, you're not going to have a laparoscopic procedure anymore. It's going to be open. You're going to spend a week in the hospital and your risk of dying has increased from under 3% to somewhere between 30 and 50%. You die because your gallbladder is probably going to rupture, spilling out bile, gallstones, and whatever infectious material might be in that gallbladder and you'll be developing peritonitis. If you have gallstones that are very small, they can give you trouble as well. They can get stuck in that common bile duct. Your pancreas is an organ that has very powerful digestive enzymes in it, but they're inactive. They become active in the duodenum. However, if you have a gallstone obstructing that duct, they're gonna become active in the pancreas and it's gonna start digesting itself. It's extremely painful and it can be fatal. If you have large gallstones, they're not gonna fall out and get stuck in the duct. Instead, they might perforate the gallbladder. So it's important to treat cholelithiasis in the early stages before it leads to problems. Now, I know I've been told that I am just a shill for the pharmaceutical industry and I really don't wanna make anybody better. I wanna keep everyone sick to, to propagate my career. So you're probably not gonna to listen to this, but definitely, don't listen to that guy.